All right, everybody. We are here for take 264. Uh, it's been a long day, but uh, here for our special interview today is my roommate, Afra Nariman. Um, Afra, thank you so much for giving us your time today for this interview. I think it was uh, 265 takes. But, yeah, uh, we're losing track. here. Of course, um, something that I'd like to talk a little bit about that's commonly brought up in our psychology and religion class is our deep metaphors and things that are very important to your life and that give you a meaning. Um, we all came from somewhere. We all inherited insight and wisdom as to how we think the world works. Um, and I would just like to hear a few of the things that are this meaningful to you and that kind of shape how the world works for you? Um, that's really interesting to think about. Uh, I would say uh, the first thing that's meaningful to me is obviously friends because they're around you all the time. They impact your everyday life. And uh, the key is really to surround yourself with people who impact you in a good way. And I think I've done that. Uh, the next thing I would have to say is meaningful to me is family. Uh, specifically my parents uh, who came to this country when they were teenagers and had to find their own way to survive and succeed. Uh, the stories that they've told me and the things that they had to go through really inspired me and kind of motivated me to like know what the real world is like outside of my own privileged kind of yeah. upbringing. Uh, since I was young, they taught me the importance of values such as respect, hard work, honesty, fairness, unselfishness, and the importance of wisdom. Uh, they didn't use religion to guide me uh, or themselves like most families do or most people do. Uh, some people believe that religion is needed for that, uh, and sometimes it is. But for me, it was having great parents who did everything they could to raise me the way that they wanted, which included instilling great values for me. Lastly, I would say basketball. I know that kind of sounds kind of cheesy or tacky, but uh, basketball really is kind of my life. I've been playing since I was a kid. And by playing basketball and watching uh, my favorite player, who's Kobe Bryant, uh, I learned the values of work ethic and hard work and determination, and it really kind of shaped me. At first, uh, the whole idea of hard work, work ethic, determination, it was all strictly on the court. I thought that by watching Kobe and by like trying to imitate him, I would improve my game on the court. I would always be the first one at, at the gym, the last one to leave, which I always was as a player, and I thought it would help me make more baskets or uh, be faster on the court or whatever, but as I got older and my life got more complicated, I evolved as a person, and uh, basketball wasn't my everyday life at, at a certain point, and that's when I really realized that the lessons that I took away from basketball and from watching Kobe Bryant were, were carried over to my real life. If I want something, I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can to go get it. I'm going to be determined, and I'm going to have that Mamba mentality, if you would say, uh, to go after those things. Wow. So it sounds like Kobe Bryant um, went from something that was just watching basketball or I want to be good at shooting free throws, and you were able to find something deeper in inside of that and it kind of translated to your real life and how you go about things uh yeah uh i think it mixes in perfectly with uh some of the values and lessons that my parents instilled into me as far as the whole idea of hard work and that things don't come easy you have to go get them and to kind of answer your uh earlier question of how the world works in my eyes uh, to me, it it can work in a, in so many different ways. It's just how you approach it that will define how you experience life. Uh, life can be unfair. It's full of people who don't have morals or values. But uh, I view the world as like just a day to day uh, test, kind of. And to rise and succeed in life, uh, you have to pass those tests. And it's important to not let the negative influences get to you. You have to use the values that define you. Uh, like the ones that I learned from basketball and my parents and uh, even though there will be bad people and unfair situations uh, every individual is going to be impacted by those in a different way based on the values that they hold and uh, for me uh, it's all about making the best of shitty situations and the lessons that I learned through basketball and from my parents have got have allowed me to get through that through that way wow yeah that uh, that seems it's crazy to hear because it sounds like we have very similar views and morals 
um, and deep metaphors even. Um, but it sounds like you probably, uh, when you say you went through these hard situations, uh, it sounds like your anxiety levels were probably pretty high in those situations. And that's what we talk a lot about in psychology and religion, um, that psychology, the psych behind religion is that it gives people something to attach themselves to or to reduce anxiety in moments where anxiety might be very high. Um, just the thought that whoever you believe in will forgive you or that if you perform these morals correctly, you'll go to heaven. So that's kind of an incentive um, for a lot of people. But it sounds like for you, you have very similar morals. But instead of religion, you connect to basketball or watching your parents go through hard times. Um, and that kind of is your anxiety reducing thing that you turn to instead of religion. Um, but it's crazy because in the end, it sounds like our morals and um, ways of life and ways of thinking the world works are very similar. So while we have similar morals in our life, there's different ways that we achieve or that we kind of map out those morals, um, I guess. So for me, I was raised Lutheran and I was always told what's right and what's wrong. And if I don't do what's right, um, I'll go to hell. And if I do what's right, I'll go to heaven. And that was kind of my incentive um, to perform all of these morals and to work hard and to be like my parents. Um, but it sounds like for you, instead of religion, you saw your parents uh, move to this country and have nothing at all and raise it and raise you and become big and successful and so that kind of is where your morals come from because you are inspired by them and you're inspired by Kobe Bryant and people that are involved in your life a lot and your morals come from them and you want to perform these morals to be like them or to be as successful as them.